अराउंड नाइन थर्टी अ प्लेन फुल ऑफ इन्वेस्टर्स मेड एन एमरजेंसी लैंडिंग एट काठमंडू दे वर हेडिंग टूवर्ड्स चाइना बट मेनी ऑफ द ऑक्यूपेंट सडनली डिसाइडेड दे वॉन्टेड टू रिटर्न बैक टू इंडिया इन फैक्ट सम ऑफ दैम पैराशूटेड दम सेल्स इन टू इंडिया वेन दे वर अबाउट टू क्रॉस हरियाणा नाउ ए लॉट ऑफ यू वुड बी रिजॉइसिंग एंड मे बी सेलिब्रेटिंग दैट बुल्स आर बैक प्लीज नोट दैट बियर्स आर स्टिल अराउंड इन फैक्ट द बुल्स राइट नाउ आर सराउंडेड बाय बियर्स हॉन्गकॉन्ग्स इंडेक्स हैंगसेंग वॉज डाउन टेन परसेंट टूडे दिस इज आफ्टर मोर देन अ डिकेड दैट हॉन्गकॉन्ग हैज फॉलन सो मच यू एस मार्केट वॉज टोटली डिसरिगार्डेड बाई इंडिया टूडे ऑल्सो टुमारो इज द ऑल इम्पॉर्टेंट डे वेन द आर बी आई विल डिसाइड वेदर इंटरेस्ट रेट्स विल बी कट राइट नाउ or not because next window will probably be in december the entire country was in celebration mood today so was nifty next 50 the star today was varun beverages it was up 10% for most of the day close slightly shy shot 590 adani energy was next followed by pfc siemens irfc abb nifty 50 was in similar mood the deep red were higher the reds were higher but trend today was the best performer 8% up followed by bl these two stocks entered nifty last week however as soon as they arrived the bulls were chased out by bears and they had no option but to sit quietly for some time adani enterprises and adani ports i talked about in yesterday's video itself about the coal theory both of them were up 5% remember tomorrow is bank nifty expiry and just around that will be the sebi minutes they will probably come out roughly around 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock the tail was reversed today worst today was metal and mining it has been at the top of this graph for most of the month but today the star was oil and gas because reliance was up a lot followed by banking software actually was down for significant day but then it recovered towards the later part of the day in terms of performance for last two weeks suddenly we have heavy machinery at the top look at siemens and abb today 5% up Crompton Greaves power has been doing really well as well it is in the green zone along with Polycap good volumes for the entire pack today RVN it was up 8% today yesterday it was all about political instability because of the exit polls today it was mostly return of political stability and cement was not far behind the entire pack did pretty well 1.5% all these companies go hand in hand nifty continuously up and above the line whole day I really like these kind of graphs where the index or the stock spends the entire day above the line with upward bias. Slight profit booking came roughly around 2:30, but there was immediate recovery. Bank Nifty same graph above the line for the whole day. Overall trading range for Bank Nifty also was good, 1.3 percent. Reliance absolutely same graph. The trading range was even higher, 2.4 percent. HDFC was looking really bullish today went up significantly and then remained in a range TCS was down for most of the day and it shot up towards the end of the day same with Infosys L&T after several bad days recovered that to 2% I mentioned yesterday public sector banks are looking good SBI up 1.5% Bank of Baroda also 2% up PNB not that much but still half percent PFC look at the gains 6.2% IFC has been a general underperformer since the budget defense made a strong comeback today huge short covering HAL up 5% BL up 5% Musgaon Dock 5% GRC 9% huge gains for the entire sector now if tomorrow is a bad day this entire gain may get reversed for most of the investors when i was on the haryana results the second was on china metals did not do that well JSW steel down hindustan zinc was up but tata steel down Jindal stainless down Hindalco down Vedanta down and MDC down 5% in the consumption pack today there was only one stock Varun beverages that was up 9% in the non edible pack the rock star today was trent up 8% made a lifetime high look at BSC up 11% made highs throughout the day Motyal Oswal up 7% camps 7% nuama wealth 5% the other stocks were not that strong today however this entire pack has been really really strong for nearly a month or two months cdsl was down a bit when reliance is up 2% oil and gas will be up only and so will be nifty ongc also 1.4% oil india 3.3% but the whole pack was looking good only today power was down a lot yesterday it made a comeback tata power up 4% NTPC up 1.4 percent, Adani Green 4 percent, Adani Energy 8 percent. Good handsome gains. Even JSW Energy 7 percent. The power enablers were all down yesterday. Today it was a reverse. Coal India up, 
PFC 6%, REC 5%. Fantastic day for the index numbers. Nifty up 0.9%, Bank Nifty 1%, Nifty IT the late recovery half percent, Nifty Energy 1.6%, Next Nifty 2.5%. These are absolute reverse numbers of yesterday. So Wednesday morning will actually look like Friday end of day by and large. 12% GST slab may go away. This may not be a good news, however, because a lot of 12% items will move to 18%. Hyundai India's IPO is final. It will come up next week, listing on October 22. Keep your money ready if you are applying. NSDL IPO also got finalized. Note the institutions mentioned here, IDBI Bank, NSC, HDFC Bank, SBI. These are the existing shareholders. All of them will participate in the offer for sale. They will offload anywhere between 2 to 4 percent you will probably see this ipo by end of this month or november us markets were bad yesterday only nvidia was up cold minor correction but it is still above 75000 silver 91000 bitcoin is still above 62000 rent slightly less than 80 it crossed 80 but then it came back the fi and di data fi is sold di is bought so this number is nearly 45000 crore now this number is around 46,000 crores. Nifty 50, 36 stocks up, 14 down. The best performer today was Reliance, followed by HDFC Bank, Trent, Adani Enterprises, and Adani Ports. What was down today? SBI Life, Tata Steel, Bajaj Finserv, TCS, and Titan. Next 50, 42 stocks up, 8 down. The best performer, Varun Beverages, Adani Energy, Power Finance, Siemens, and IRFC. What was down most? Godrej Consumer, Jindal, Avenue Supermarts, Vedanta and Dabur. Energy pack was all good today. Everything looked green. Slight profit booking in Power Grid and HPCL. I've always said Oil India goes up more. That was up 3.3%. ONGC was up 1.4% only. Consumption pack, ITC, Britannia and Marico are in the green in food and tobacco and Colgate in the consumption pack. Godfrey Phillips was the biggest winner, 8% up. Gillette's volumes were fantastic, 4x of normal. Four stocks remain in red in aerospace and defense, not five any longer. Automobile startup motors is looking really weak. It is 30% away from the 52 week high now. No such problem for MM. The heavyweight sector was up 1.7%. Banking all good. Bajaj twins, however, corrected a bit. Though crude has not cooled down, but chemicals came for short covering. Asian paints, Pedilite, both were up. Coal India made a comeback, 2.5% up. Adani Enterprises 5% up after a long time, Trent up 8%. Insurance was a mixed bag, LIC was up 3.5% but SBI was down 3.5%. Investment banking, there were only two towers today, BSC up 11%, Mozilla Loswal up 7%. Siemens and ABB are not that far off from the green zone now. Metals and mining looked sorry besides Hindustan Zinc. No such problems for pharma. Again, a sea of greens. IT, only the product companies Zomato and InfoEdge were up a lot. Otherwise, IT did not look that strong. Specialty retailers saw short covering as well. Kalyan Jewelers up a percent. No such luck for Airtel, still down. Titan down. Page Industries, however, was up. My portfolio, I sold trend today from the long term portfolio. I would probably buy it back next week because I do expect the profit booking and corrections to continue. I sold a part of VBL, the one that I bought yesterday. Remember, I sold Navneet and I bought VBL. VBL was up 10%. I sold it off. Navneet was still down half percent. And I'll talk more about that in the nugget section. ONGC, no profit, no loss. Motilal Oswal, 5 or 6% profit. I booked the profit and came out. I like the stock a lot. I'll buy it again, probably in a week or two weeks time. What did I buy? More of Motyal Oswal, mid cap ETF, IDBI, more of that. My holding in IDBI was in about 12% loss and I wanted to average down. I'll sell it off very soon. I won't keep it for long. I bought HDFC back. I expect FIS to be back now. A lot of folks have commented on the videos that I'm making continuous losses. A lot of people have reached out saying they are in deep losses, but they are out of money. A lot of people are in deep losses. They are hesitant in putting new money. So today I wanted to talk about averaging down when you are in losses. Adding more money is no brainer. However, one thing to note here is a lot of people who are in losses in stocks, which are not doing well, they average down on those stocks, which I would say relatively lower quality stocks. For example, I am down a lot on microfinance. How do I end up with so much quantity? Because last quarter, 
the results were still not good and i kept averaging downwards that led to accumulation and the losses kept compounding so this quarter onwards i am not a big fan of adding more money to average down on stocks that are not moving or that have not moved in the last few months at least also average down only in the a pedigree stock a pedigree is something that is moving right now for example investment banking i will not put hindustan zinc here that is in the red zone so typically think of what i show in the green zone right now b category or b pedigree is the high quality stocks they have done well maybe corrected c category which is good stocks but who are in red right now basically it is not their time right now and maybe a d category which is small caps and not so high quality mid caps i would average down with fresh money only in a pedigree maybe a bit of b but not in c and d for example idbi i would say it is b right now because of the news flow and nsds ipo i expect this stock to do well because of an event i would not average down on microfinance which i have done a lot in the past and i made good money using that but i am not doing it now i am in fact selling microfinance remember i told about certain microfinance i sold it at 202 i sold it roughly around 185 it was somewhere around 172 yesterday so if i square off both of these short positions if i call them so then i am probably at a profit of 1 lakh in what i sold if i had clung on to them this profit would have been loss let me take example of tata motors one good friend is holding they asked around 1000 level what to do with tata motors because that was in loss and i clearly told it is looking weak and it does not make sense to hold it in my opinion but since it was a loss making proposition they didn't sell it so what happened this went to nearly 900 this is the support level if it breaks where is the next support 800 what if you sell tata motors and buy say mnm if you want to be in auto which is going up nearly every day now tomorrow maybe reverse tata motors go may go up and mnm may come down or both of them may come down that i can't predict yes the stock may go up but again you have to watch out for that you have to create certain theories why it will run up for example i am sure that microfinance may do a bit of short covering but there is no good news coming for the sector right now yesterday i sold navneet i was sure it was not going to go up even in today's good market it was down half percent what did i buy using it varun beverages now was i expecting varun beverages to go up 10% today absolutely not it just a bonus of the strategy that i deployed and i got to book 10% profit today only i would have been happy if this happened in a month's time also but at least i moved to a high quality stock where i had conviction basic principles which i follow these days i am just summarizing them for your knowledge businesses win by rotating money in shops that return is immediate in businesses it may be 40 days 60 days 90 days it companies for example usually take 2 months to recover the money from their customer so if businesses run this way why don't we run the same way why don't we rotate money why do we have to go by certain investors appearing on tv and saying that you have to re remain invested for long term yes that's a great theory if you are warren buffet or if you have a lot of money i don't have a lot of money i need to rotate it i don't even get paychecks these days not booking losses will increase the losses and problems this is something i have seen over decades and i have stopped doing that completely these days if there is a loss and if that is not going to get recovered immediately and if you see a better opportunity if you see i typically don't book money out of losses and keep it in cash if i am booking losses i'll only book it if i can immediately deploy it adding money from salary leads to being irresponsible with your money you have already made a bad decision you will compound the bad decision by averaging lower rather than bailing out revisit your portfolio maybe last one year two year everywhere where you made a not so good decision you might have eventually earned money but the profit percentage in the year would have been low not all stocks will fall as much in a fall for example it is very rare to see reliance or hdfc bank fall 78% not all stocks recover quickly suzlon sulked for more than a decade tata motors sulked for more than a decade hdfc bank sulked for 5 6 years if a stock is not going through a good cycle or the sector is not going through a good cycle there is no point in putting money there from salary averaging down just stay out or at least don't add fresh money a lot of stocks which have made recent highs and have corrected they may not make new highs for many months many years they may never make an all time high again i've been in the stock market since 2007 and i've seen this a lot don't expect that a stock which has corrected from recent high will definitely come back if market rebound matter of one month or two months there is no such obligation for market to go as per your wishes 
last two bits cash flow is king companies which have a solid cash flow coming in every month every quarter every year they will be the king for next one or two years these company will be able to support mnas also that is what warren buffett does and he has been doing it for 50 60 years now and debt is the enemy companies who can't service their debt they might die if the crack gets bigger that is what happened to hindalco when they acquired novalis that is what happened to tata steel when they acquired chorus that is what happened to tata motors when they acquired jlr that is what happened to suzlon when they acquired re power hope this nugget was useful thanks for watching i will see you tomorrow